Hi everyone, welcome to the third edition of Founder Speak and today's topic is Greece and Cyprus. Now in my usual fashion, I will try to address the entire topic of Greece and Cyprus in as organized a fashion as possible and fail horribly. But in the meanwhile, let me give you a broad structure about the topics that I want to cover. I'm going to talk about why you should invest in Greece and Cyprus. I'm going to talk about how much you need to invest. And I'm going to talk about what you should buy depending on your budget. Now, first and foremost, why you should invest in Greece and Cyprus. Many people have different reasons, but I'll cover the main ones. First and foremost, Greece and Cyprus are two countries of the European Union, which reward you with something called a golden visa when you invest in their real estate space. So depending on how much you invest, you get permanent residency rights in those countries when you invest that threshold amount or above. What that means is that you can live in those countries permanently, if you so wish, while continuing to be an Indian citizen. So the issue of visa goes out the window and you are welcome to come and spend as much time as you want in that country for the rest of your life and it applies to you and your entire family. So why do people go for this? Some people want to spend more time abroad. Some people want a plan B to eventually, probably at some point of their lives, live abroad for the longer term. Now, different people have their reasons, but this is a very big reason because otherwise, if you want to live abroad, it gets a bit tricky. Now, another reason why people look at Greece and Cyprus, and it relates to a question that we have about Goa quite frequently. Client says to us, I have a limitless budget, but I want a sea view. Now, the problem with Goa is that most of the sea view land is unavailable. It's been given to hotels or it's already been built on or there are legal issues, etc., etc. In Greece and Cyprus, at an entry level, let's say 2.4 CR in Greece, you can buy a two-bedroom penthouse overlooking the ocean on a Greek island. Uh, it's just not possible to match that uh, in Goa or anywhere else in India. If you have a larger budget, say around 5-6 crores, you can buy a private four-bedroom villa with a private pool overlooking the ocean, walking distance from the beach, again, on an island. So, in terms of value for money, a lot of people think that it's not adding up in Goa, so better to look elsewhere and plus you get the permanent residency rights, so if you want to eventually live abroad, you can. And that ties into the third reason why people look abroad is ROI. Goa, there are very few options which give you a fixed committed ROI, especially after COVID. Uh, Greece, you still get up to 3% depending on which property you invest in and in Cyprus it goes as high as 5%. So if you're looking to get a good return on your, your investment, Greece and Cyprus tick the boxes a lot better than Goa. Now, second question, how much? Now, if you're looking for permanent residency in Greece, the investment threshold is 250,000 euros and above. So if you invest a minimum of 250,000 euros in a property in Greece, the government says, okay, fine, you can now live here. Greece is also a Schengen country. So once you have permanent residency rights in Greece, you can travel throughout the Schengen zones of Europe without needing a visa. Um, in Cyprus, that same amount comes to 300,000 euros, which comes to about 2.5 crore depending on your exchange rate. So if you spend these amounts in either of these countries, the payoff is, is quite good. Cyprus also gives you a third option. It's not for everyone, but we're going to put it out there. If you're looking to straight away surrender Indian citizenship and become an EU citizen, Cyprus allows that also, but the investment threshold is about 17.5 crores. Like I said, it's not for everyone, but if someone is so inclined, this is one of the few places in the world where you can literally buy an EU passport through real estate investments. Now, the most important question, depending on your budget, what can you get and what should you get? Okay. Now, in Greece, which is cheaper than Cyprus, by the way, um, like I said, you can get a sea view apartment, a small 2BHK, little nifty investment, get your permanent residency rights for as little as 2.6, 2.7 crores, depending on how much uh, space you want. Uh, if you are willing to go up to five and a half, six crores, you can get villas with a private pool on the beach, overlooking the ocean, things like that. In Cyprus, if you go a little higher, if you go up to like uh, 10 crores or so, then you get like a super luxury high-end high-rise apartment with all the seven star facilities in the world on the ocean overlooking uh, the sea it's absolutely beautiful but the point is it really depends on your budget it depends on how much you can afford but it's not that it's only for someone with a massive budget uh, in many ways your value for money in greece and cyprus 
is way better than your value for money in India. So don't rule it out uh, when you're thinking of uh, you know an, a, a second investment or a holiday home investment. Most of us have a one-track mind to always think of Goa, and there are reasons for that. Goa is accessible. You will actually end up using it a lot more. But that's where it ends. You know, those are the two positives of Goa, which you know everyone loves, and obviously we made a business out of it as well, which is that it's accessible. It's a quick flight, and you will end up using it. And if you're not using it, your friends and family will end up using it. So. It's useful in that sense, but where it lags behind is value for money. It doesn't offer any additional perks like permanent residency or something like that, and often it doesn't even give you fixed returns. It's all variable, and in in the COVID world, it's it's very dicey to you know go with this variable scheme also sometimes. So these are the three most commonly uh, asked points, which is why you should invest in Greece and Cyprus, how much you need to have to invest in Greece and Cyprus. and what you should get depending on your budget or what you can get depending on your budget in Greece and Cyprus so i hope i've answered your questions in terms of how to get started obviously call us reach out to us tell us your budget and we'll tell you what you can get uh, for your budget and then after that you can do a virtual tour you can even travel down because a lot of these countries have opened their international restrictions and i'm told that india is going to open uh, international travel soon as well when that happens you can fly down Uh, but it's a very seamless process all your legal paperwork is taken care of all your virtual touring is taken care of once you're there your stay accommodation while you're viewing everything is taken care of so it's a really cool process if you're interested by all means please reach out to us uh, and that's it for this month and i look forward to seeing you next month on another edition of founder speak this is prashant kalra signing off thank you for your time